here. This is a plesia. This is the California sea hare. And it's in the same class as the, the snails. It's in the class Gastropoda, but it's not a nudibranch. Okay, I'm surprised we didn't find any nudibranchs, but the weather's kind of rough out here. So all the little nudibranchs, like Hermocentacrassicornis, the little white, bright white one, and, and Flavinopsis, is the, the Spanish shawl that's really bright purple, those are all nudibranchs in the order Nudibranchia. This is a slug, but not a nudibranch, because its gills are actually tucked up back here behind this fold in the mantle cavity. Nudibranchs have their gills exposed in that, in that posterior portion there. They're in the subclass of uh, Apisobranchia. Uh, be careful, they will ink like octopi do. They, they produce a more purpley ink than octopi and squid. Most of the, the ink in octopi and squid is melanin. Um, this is a, a purple pigment. Yeah. <laughs> that's not that way. It's inverted right there. And here's a big guy, <laughs> good big example of, of a plesia. Oh. If, uh, relatively complex central nervous systems, like an, a, a number of the mollusks do. Yeah. You know and what? the folds uh, in the mantle up here hide antennae that are um, highly tactile sensory and chemosensory as well. 